oil and effort to stop its wanton stealing in Nigeria. 42 more tapping points by crude oil thieves have been discovered in Delta and Ayosa states. This brings to 58, the total number of oil points discovered so far since the operation and oil theft on the waterways of Delta and Bayosa states began. The former militant leader, government Ekpomo Polo Polo, popularly known as Tom Polo, also said a four-kilometer illegal crude oil pipeline was discovered in the Forcados area of Delta states. We are beginning to see the magnitude of the magnitude of this menace. Babajide, I saw that video and I saw how brilliant, you know, some criminals in Nigeria could be. And when we are talking about these criminals conspiring against Nigeria, it has nothing to do with their religion. It has nothing to do with their tribe. They will come together outside Ibu and Yoruba and they come together, Christian and Muslim, and they will conspire against our great nation. And when I saw four kilometer illegal crude oil pipeline discovered from the original NPC, you know, you've all been saying it that when NPC decided to do a test run with yes. ordinary water, we saw what happened. So Tom Polo is now saying that, look, I have even a list of those involved in this business. Yes, if uh, there is anyone who has the capacity to locate where this um, poetics operates, it has to be Tom Polo. I, I've, I've said it here that um, looking at the militants at that time, Tom Polo was the clear leader of the militants. And um, Tompolo set up men. You may see him as some uh, person, somebody who is half literate and all that, but he, he has Something capacity. You know, he knows what he's doing. Yes. For them to have, before the amnesty program was uh, set up, for men to have hit Nigeria deep into the high seas. You must know that they had capacity. And when you are talking about men, you are talking about Tom Polo. He is the undisputed leader of the militants. He knows all of those areas. We may snare at the uh, idea of giving the um, job of policing our oil installations to a non-state actor. But if that will help us when the state actor to reduce the... Yes, mm. there is no doubt that, look, the armed forces are involved. Really people don't like... The armed forces generally, when you get, whether you're army, people assume it's just Navy. It's erroneous to mm. think it's just Navy. When you are posted to that area, especially post, towards the end of your career... They like it. They influence it. They know, yes. As well towards the end of your career, it is assumed that you've been posted to that area for you to retire. Yes, take your retirement benefit. Mm. Some uh, some generals will not even post those not loyal to them to those areas. Mm. That means from the top. Ayo, this thing had been happening for a long time, mm. and the leadership of our country over a long period knew about what's going on. In my view, the reason is coming into the open. The reason this thing have, uh, has come into the open is, one, the commander-in-chief is not involved in mm. this deal. During the military era, it was there. Generals were involved. Well, going back to even to the Abacha era, this thing had been on. So it's not as it was right now. Our oil out output has declined hmm. because major oil, a lot of the oil companies, the oil companies are even leaving. Some are leaving our country. The marginal oil fields, a good number of them are not operating at even optimum level. Hmm. So 
we are experiencing production shortings. So when you now add those, the production shortings caused by the fact that even Shell, as big as Shell is, Shell has not been involved in major production in the last few years. So when you now bear that in mind and look at what we are losing as a result of the fact that production is not going on as it should, and you match that with the rampant oil theft that is going on, you can see where we found ourselves. 900,000 barrels a day. Mm. A country that with capacity two, to do 2.2. 2. 2. 2. You understand? That was doing 2.2. In fact, when we, when we resolved our problem with the militants in the uh, Niger Delta, Delta, with the VP and others going to engage them, we went to about 1.9 million per day. Is that same country now that is doing 900,000? It's this not. At the time we need money. At the time where we need money badly. Money badly. And we need that foreign exchange. Other countries are making money from this. What are going on? Yeah. You know, Putin may appear to, to have lost it in the head. But people are making money from what he's doing. People are making money. This is boom time. Only God knows how much Saudi Arabia will make at the end of this day. With what we report every day, GKB, I'm convinced by the day that an average Nigeria, Nigeria, as in, we are not patriotic. We don't love this country. Mm -hmm. With what I see, our actions, what we do. Uh, like, I'm glad you said most, because there are still some patriotic. I am not saying everybody, there. definitely. But you have to understand that when Abacha said that if certain things go beyond 48 hours, the hierarchy of the government are involved. And this, of course, is a case in point. I'll give an example I'm aware of because I was involved. During the time uh, Reagan Adams was in charge of the pipeline security in the Southwest, the major people resisting what the boys were doing were the armed forces. Mm. In fact, uh, whoever was caught tried to vandalize the pipelines, the person that would fought for him would be a soldier or a naval officer or one of the kind. So you know it is at the level that we cannot pretend that this is a discovery. This has been going on for over 10 years. And if you, are, if you know Nigeria, remember there was a time that the, I think OPEC or UN said that Nigeria is not being truthful about the amount of barrels of oil coming out of Nigeria. We were given a figure and the IMF was given another figure. That means people of that nature are aware of this stealing at this massive level, even back then. So if you blame the Nigerian, yeah, you are correct. But if you blame that the system itself is not working, again, you are correct. Because we've not been able to build a country that demands from us patriotism. It's a two-way street. The state must do things for me. I expect me to do things in return. In countries where they live by taxation, they can see what their taxes are doing. In Nigeria, you see people who had absolutely nothing a day before he goes into government, coming out a very, very rich man. That is not the symbol you send to people that Nigeria is working. So where do all the patriot teams to come from? The man that will wait in line for his pension for eight, nine years and down the line. And then he sees his mates of the same salary, of the same level, in the same office, very comfortable living in the choicest areas of, of Nigeria. So where will the patriotism come from? The state has not provided the impetus for us to be patriotic. And so we are who we are. We are the children of our father. Yeah. We are Nigerians. It is what the Sabotios. Nigerian state is doing to us, sabotaging us. It's what we are doing back to the Nigerian state. Like I said, you cannot see your mates or your father's mates languishing in the sun, waiting for 3,000 naira per month that will not be paid for almost four years. And then you will not help yourself to the till before you retire. How does it work? Who wants to line up in the sun and collect 3,000 naira every month? Where well, you can easily steal millions of naira and be extremely comfortable hmm. in your retirement. Hmm. So it works both ways. Nigerians are not patriotic. We have Nigeria Aruna calling us from Ikorodu in Lagos. Thank, Thank you, Aruna. Good afternoon. Yes, and, uh, and the other person there in the studio. Uh, I'm happy 
that more revolution are coming out from this quiet uh, that have been going on for a long period of time in the country. And I'm happy that the contract uh, is given to one of the agitators, the person of government, uh, uh, Tompolo. He knows the terrain very well. And I, I wouldn't say maybe some of himself, maybe and his, uh, his boy, I am involved in this step. Uh, but right now we can see more revolution are coming up. So uh, some people kick against when the contract was given to him. But thank God now we can see him. So let's just support the board. It is a shame on our security forces agents, the military, the the navy, and the all those people uh, uh, safeguarding the pipeline for them to fail in their duty and for just a non-actors of the society, of the country, to be given this job to secure this. It's a shame on them. God Thank you, Aruna. Thank you for your contribution. Jude, this is not the final. We are going to get, you know, more, more on this. And yes. We have just started. Mm. Work has just started and we are seeing all this. We are seeing all this happening. We are discovering. Why didn't we discover all these points? Now we are hearing that even an export terminal has been breached. Yes, export terminal. So these things is not export easy. terminal. Yes, so official still official export terminal. That we are the, 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 it has been breached and through it people are siphoning our crude oil. Some people have been making money of this for years. So you but see because them output them came down, in Abuja. then it became a big concern. Because the output came down due to other factors, mm. then it, it became it probably is something that had been happening for decades. Wow! But because we are producing at an impressive level, it did not show. It went out that really. Uh -huh. It did not really show. It did not become a matter of concern. But when due to all kinds of problems, you have issues. Uh, oil companies are leaving Nigeria. The ones that have not left. They declared even force major mm -hmm. on some of their uh, oil feeds due to insecurity mm -hmm. and other. Mm -hmm. So that's why this thing is so open. But I know that with Porto Polo having been engaged, I know that we are going to see a lot more revelations. of uh, revelations. And I'm happy that he said it's even, he has the uh, names of people in the armed forces. He knows then those who are involved. So I hope he can be pushed or nudged to the to point where this. we will let us even know those sabotaging our country. The Senate President said uh, oil thieves are enemies of our country. Those who are not oil thieves too, who are stealing, using their biro to steal, they are also enemies of the country. They are <laughs> enemies budgets. in Abuja, enemies everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on.